Hello all, uh, today we will learn how to insert and retrieve the data using uh, Kotlin in Android Studio from SQLite database. For this uh, I will just do one, uh, <coughs> I will start the new refresh project and we will just uh, insert the record into SQLite database and then we will retrieve. I just selected the empty activity. <coughs> Once you select the empty activity then uh, after that, you need to identify which uh, type of database you want to create and uh, you just need to provide mention the name of the application. Here I am providing the name of the application is uh, SQLite Demo. Then you can choose the language that you want to choose and uh, then uh, you can set the minimum SDK also. Once you did with the configuration of your project, you can click on the finish and then after uh, we will start coding. Let me mention what I want to do. I just want to create a one database uh, named uh, users in uh, SQLite and then I want to retrieve the same data. For this, I don't need to do anything. Uh, I, I don't need uh, any extra efforts. I just need to create a one uh, helper class and th that helper class I need to uh, override my class uh, uh, from SQLite open helper. It has the basically two methods. One is the on create and another one is on upgrade. Uh, whenever you uh, override the on create it will be called only once whenever the database is created. Let's begin with the steps. Here on your package you can just right click on new and you can get the kotlin file or class i'm just taking the kotlin file and i'm just providing the name of the kotlin file is my db helper you just need to define a class my db helper which extends from sqlite open helper once you uh, <coughs> inherit your class from the abstract class SQLite open helper you need to override the two methods one is on create and another one is on upgrade on create is the method that it will be only called once whenever the database is created for this i want to uh, retrieve the data from the user based on the context so i'm just providing the context and uh, con uh, variable context with the data type context in SQLite DB helper, you need to provide the four arguments. Here you can press Control P. It will uh, <coughs> returns the number of arguments that you want to retrieve from the user. I'm just passing the context that I received from the user. And then I'm just providing the name of the database. The name of the database is user DB. And I'm just passing the null for the factory settings. And it is my first version. So I'm just passing the factory setting as null. I am just changing my name of the variable uh, of SQLite database with the DB and here in db.executeSQL just you can create the table that you want to create. So I am just uh, creating the table create table users uh, with user ID you can just pass here user ID uh, it should be uh, numeric in nature so uh, I am just passing the integer primary key and it should be auto increment so when uh, no need to increment uh, that particular data it will be incremented automatically whenever new record is inserted uh, then i need a username it should be text as well as i need a password it should be text once you pass uh, then i just uh, for the null safety in kotlin you need to pass here either question mark or you need or you need to check for the null then in uh, db.executeSQL, you just need to uh, we just need to insert the record uh, to retrieve the same. So I'm just uh, doing what insert into users and in particular column that is uname and password. I'm just providing the values. The username, uh, for example, I'm just passing the PC Shukla at the rate aits.edu.in. This is my uh, email address. And, uh, so I'm just using my email address as a password and the uh, email id as a username and the password is pcs let me copy the same i want to uh, insert one more record here i am just passing uh, path at the rate gmail.com and uh, the password for the same is for example atmia now i want to check that is my database is created or not 
so from main activity you can just check let me create the variable helper is equal to my db helper and pass the context that uh, that will be uh, directly passed to the my db helper class once you once your helper object of the db is created you can uh, create the variable of the database that will be for sqlite database helper dot get readable database so it will uh, return the instance of the sqlite database once the sqlite database object is created you can uh, initialize the variable for the cursor so we just need to write the query for the row query it will return the instance of the cursor i'm just writing here select star from users second argument is for the where clause if you want to mention uh, what kind of data you want uh, for that you can mention the where clause if rs dot move to next it means the record uh, if the database is created then i am just printing the toast to make the text the first argument for that is in which context you want to display the second argument is what you want to display and the third argument is for how much duration you want to display and then you can just click on show let me execute my application this application will be executed here in emulator <clears throat> once it is executed it will retrieve the data from the db helper class i already created the db helper class in db helper class i created the database as well as the table name so uh, let me check what is the output of the program My application is being installed and you can check that pcsuclaidaits.edu.in is received it means my data is inserted and i um, retrieved the same but now i what what i want to do here in activity main i want i want that <clears throat> uh, i want to uh, even insert the record also so I will just remove this hello world and in text I will just take the email address uh, to take uh, to insert the data you can just click on the info consent so it will uh, set the same and then I want the password to insert the record and then uh, we will just uh, <clears throat> click on save once you click on save the record should be inserted right uh, so uh, th then uh, we will check also th the record is inserted or not here i'm just uh, uh, using the infer constraint here for the same i'm doing the same and uh, here in button you can just click on insert you can just set the title that is insert whenever user passing the data user must know what kind of data is so i'm just setting the hint property it should be password here I'm here also I am setting the hint property that enter email address so whenever user pass the email address and password the record should be inserted into database how can I know that the data is inserted or not so let me demonstrate uh, this is my button and the ID of the button is button so in main activity what I will do whenever user click on button so uh, I will just implement the uh, button dot set Tom click listener this is the function uh, so i will just overwrite the button dot set on click listener and whenever user click on this button what we want to do i want to insert the record in the database so i just need to create an instance of content values content values is the class which uh, will store the data here you just need to pass cv dot put the name of the column here the name of the column is the column that you had created in helper class this is a username and pwd so i'm just passing the username and value is available in the edit text uh, that is we had created in the activity main xml dot to string once you set the data in username you can also set the data in password there is only one function which will store the data so then uh, you can pass your pwd and you just need to pass call db dot insert function it has the three argument the first argument is in which column you want uh, in which table you want to insert the data the table name is 
users. The second is for the null column hack and the last is what data you want to insert. So whatever I have in content values that I want to insert. Once I insert all the data, my all the edit text should be blank. So I'm, I'm just citing the edit text uh, dot text is equal to blank. Same I want to uh, set in the edit text number two. Once both the edit text is set to blank, uh, I, I just want to insert two, three records and then I want to check that is my record is properly inserted or not. So let me execute my application. Once it will be executed your application, then it will load the activity main.xml that we already created in the XML file. I'm here passing the email address, for example, kapil at the right gmail.com and the password is Ganesha. Let me click on insert. It will insert the record. But what problem is here now? The focus is in the password, not in the email address. So here you can add edit text dot edit text dot request focus request focus will do what whenever you insert the record the focus will be moved to the email address right so uh, it will be easy for us to insert the record let me insert one more record now devin at the rate jau dot com and the password is djp whenever you click on the insert the record will be inserted and the cursor will be moved to the email address now I'm testing one more record. For example, tatsat at the rate gmail.com. Password is TPS. Once you store all this record, now I want to check that my data is inserted or not. So here in device file explorer, you just need to move to the data. Again, you need to click on the data. Then the your package name. So package name is available in your uh, main activity in the top it is the first line pcs.mca.atmi.sqlite demo so you just need to move to the uh, same packet that is pcs.mca.atmi.sqlite demo and then you need to click on the databases here there are three files are there one is user db another is user db uh, shm file and another one is the write ad log you just need to save all these three files i am saving all these three files in d drive and i am just saving once you save all these three files, might be a chance some file is already there. So you don't need to do anything. Just you need to move to the D drive and you can just check date. Uh, you just need to uh, download it again. Let me save as in D drive. It will save all these files into D drive. You can just check. See, now the, all the file is downloaded here in D drive. Once it is downloaded, you just need to open the browser. In browser, you can open your database file. Once the database file you can open, you can just check. Uh, it is available in my D drive. Uh, by default extension is not DB. So select all the files and uh, click on the database name that is user DB. Then you can move to the browse data. See. My five records are already available over here. The first two record that is PC Shukla uh, and PC Shukla and path at gmail.com that we had inserted through helper class and these three records we had inserted through this uh, screen. Thank you for listening to me. Now in next lecture, uh, I will move for uh, move towards how to validate these entries so we will uh, just check into the uh, for the sign in process this is just for the sign up process now in next lecture i will demonstrate you about the sign in thank you all